Hey everybody, Will Roberts here and welcome to the next lesson or uh, uh, the lesson on starting to spin your guns. I'm not really going to call these number one, two, three, four, whatever, mainly because there will be times when we're doing gun spinning or trick roping or whips or something and uh, locations will change. Right now you're in my, my vault and you're in where I do all my stuff, my gun spinning and so on and my working on guns and so on. Uh, again, I emphasize the fact that whenever we do these lessons that if you have questions you can certainly go through the website and you can ask me a question or any of the other people that if I bring anybody in, you can ask us. Uh, of course our social media, uh, Will Roberts USA is my Twitter and uh, I'm on Periscope as Will Roberts USA, uh, uh, Instagram, actor Will Roberts, you can check that out and kind of watch some of the stuff I'm doing and what I do. Um, what else? Oh, so uh, the other part is is that, uh, so now we're moving on, and these lessons, of course, you can grab one lesson or all of them. You can do the membership of a monthly, whatever the fee is, you know, it's like two or three dollars a month, and you can see all of them, and you can continue to watch them. You can do the other version where you rent them. I think it's $4.99 to rent the video for like 48 hours. You can watch it over and over and over again and get what you can out of it. Or you can buy it for $9.99. You buy the whole video and keep it in your own digital library, which, um, you know, I kind of recommend. Because, you know, the fact is, is that if you went out and you decided to buy a video on gun spinning or trick roping or whips, uh, like Western Stage Props or places like that, it's going to cost you $25, $30 bucks just for one video. And uh, no offense, but a lot of those videos are really old which is okay because it's all the basics, but this is more interactive because I'm asking you to send me information or questions that you may have about your guns, about your whips, your guns, your ropes, whatever it happens to be, or something that you maybe got cool that you, an old cowboy thing that you want me to say, hey, how do we spin or do whatever with this. So today is the lesson on spinning the guns, actually spinning them, okay? Because that is the thing that everybody wants to learn how to do. Spin them forward, spin them backwards, spin them forward, spin them backwards. And be able to take those and then do what you want to do with it. And spin it and twist it in different levels over and then finally back in the holster. So that's what we're going to learn, except we're not doing the holster today. But today we're just doing spinning. So I told you this before, I'll say it again. Some of the basics is that I'm really concerned about safety. Pardon me. <coughs> I'm concerned about safety mainly because these are a weapon. Remember I told you, my military friends, that they're not guns, they're a weapon, and to be treated like a weapon. So uh, if I hear anybody saying gun uh, to me, then I'm going to give me 20. Give me 20. Anyway, uh, so uh, I use real Ruger 45s, the single action guns, which means you pull them back and you shoot them like this. And we went through all that and how that works. So today what you're gonna learn how to do is the basic spin. And that's really ultimately that, that, or continuously like that. And what we're gonna do is you can strap your rig on if you want. Let me tell you some basics about wearing a rig that I believe you should know. And one is, is that when you wear your rig, you notice how the rig and the holster is right aligned with my leg and my body. I see people wearing guns this, I see people wearing guns back like this, and they'll try to do stuff and they wonder why they can't hit the, the holster the right way, it doesn't look good, it's because again it goes straight down the leg, and then that way when you're there, you just hit it. Here's the other thing, uh, you notice that I had to go up a little bit, because that this rig is just a little bit too high, I don't want you going 50s, uh, gunslinger down here type of thing. I never want to see that because that's just not real, okay? This is not the way you should be wearing your rig. That's the Buscadero look. That's what they got the long piece of leather here and it slips through there and hangs down. Ugh, that's just uncomfortable. Um, I really want you to, you know, if you got a rig that's um, authentic, it's going to be the lace through like this, through the actual belt. This is more of the real deal. And you just want to make sure that your gun comes in right about where your arm breaks. So when you come in, it's here, sorry, it's there, and you put it in. You want to make sure it's smooth and in, smooth, in, smooth, in. And that movement, and you'll, we'll show that in another lesson, but right now, you want to learn how to 
basically spin the gun. I just want you to know that when you wear your rig, wear it this way, down your leg, and make sure that the length, or where it actually hits the pocket, is right about a little bit, like an inch below your belt, and not any lower, and certainly not any higher, because I've seen people higher and they're just like, trying to put the gun away, it's very difficult. So the next part is the actual spin I want you to learn. In order to spin a gun, what you need to know is, is that obviously, not this is not modified in any way, except for the, the top has been knocked off in case you want to do, you know, you want to do fast draw or something, it makes it a little easier. By the way, if you're doing fast draw, you would never do this back in the holster because you'd be disqualified. All right, so um, in order to spin the gun, I promise I'm going to get to this. You want to keep your arm in an L. This is where it is. And the weight of the front of the barrel is going to, if you drop it like this, you'll notice that it drops and it goes swinging backwards, okay? That's because the weight is obviously heavy and just the motion of dropping your hand brings the gun down to your side like this. And if you were to bring your hand up, it would bring it to that position, into the firing position. A couple of things you want to know. I always kind of take a wide stance in general when I'm doing my gun spinning just because I want to be ready. The other thing I do is I slightly kick my knees and, and you know, do a little you know, bending of the knees because I always want to be able to come from somewhere and, you know, and whatever I happen to be doing, a little rusty today, uh, that you want to be able to get into a bent knee position because that's what life's about. Meaning, when you run, you start in a, in a plie or, or a bent knee position and anything that you want to do and whatever you happen to do comes from keeping your knees bent and being ready to move. Again, I like to do gun moves that basically look like I'm going to actually shoot at something and not just juggling. So when you drop your gun and you bring it up, drop it, bring it up, that's your first exercise. Looks like this, drop, and then bring it up, drop, bring it up, bend your knees a little bit, drop. Bring it up, drop, bring it up. I know this will become boring, but everything you do with gun spinning and trick roping and whips and everything, and any skill like that, you really want to keep doing this repetition so you kind of get the feel of the gun. I get the feel of the way the barrel is and how heavy it is, not modified in any way, that it's going to swing back and the momentum, when I bring it up, I'm, I'm actually rocking it here because when I come this way, I bring it back into position. And that position is me firing. Also looks really good if you're doing it on film. And you're not just like this. All right, freeze, you're, come on now, freeze. Uh, so bottom line is, is that this exercise you should be doing like 100 times a day in the beginning. Here, there. Because you'll be amazed at how difficult this can be. Down and up, down and up, down and up. But notice, that my arm starts in the L, drops to an I, and then comes back to the L. Da, down, up, L, I, L, I, L, I, L. And I know it'll get boring, but keep doing it until you can do it on both sides. And you can do it on both sides. Drop it, boom. Let the momentum, feel the gun weight go back and forth like that. And that's how you do it. That's how you do the first exercise on spinning a gun. Then when you get really comfortable and you can do this, you're going to add this in. One, two. One, two. And that looks really cool. Huh? Yeah, I like it. One, one, two. And the way that you do that is you let the momentum come down and then when you got the thing swing, swung back here, you lift it and spin it. I think that was two, two. But one, two. One, two. See, I believe in rhythm as well in regards to counting things out. So you know that when you're doing a trick, you go one, two, one, two. If I was to do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's kind of like dance, but the reason why that's good is because then you learn that where you should be on certain counts and that way the rhythm is right. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, Two. It also makes you sharper, and I believe in any of my gun spinning and roping, I try to be as sharp as I can. Boom, bow. And that way you look really good and dynamic, and it allows you to look um, sharp. 
and that's what this is all about. I mean, it's all like, it's all theatrics. All right, so in the beginning, drop and lift, drop, lift, and watch this video over and over again so you get the positions of my body, because that's how I learn. I learn by watching people. I didn't have anybody that said, I'm gonna teach you how to do this or that, although I did have a couple of roping teachers in the beginning, they were all women, there it is. And, but the fact is, is that um, it's about watching people. I learned, um, I'm one of the best top mechanical bull trainers, and I've got a bunch of them, I own the Mechanical Bull Association, but um, I have one left, and uh, I learned how to be really good on it, no hands, by obviously doing it over and over again, but watching people who did it well and knowing how to do the motions. Same thing as this. This is all about, watch the old movies on um, YouTube. Some of the best uh, old cowboy actors, or not cowboy actors, some of the best actors back in the 50s and 60s, they spun guns. One of the top that you probably never thought of. But if you search the name Sammy Davis Jr., you check it out because Sammy Davis was really good at spinning guns. He was really good. So anyway, you watch some of these guys and what they're doing and how they play with the guns and what they look like when they're doing it. And some of the Westerns, James Garner, great. He did real well with the gun. Anyway, but you learn what it looks like. So that way, because uh, this is a very big weight distribution, kind of a trick thing, meaning that um, you should be able to close your eyes when you're gun spinning or trick roping or whatever you do, whatever you do. Um, and when you close your eyes, you can feel the, the, the weight of the gun come into its position and you should be able to keep your eyes shut and be able to kind of feel where it is that you're grabbing the gun. And the only way of doing that is by understanding how the gun works and the weight and the distribution. Because technically the gun is not spinning straight in a circle um, and with, with even weight distribution because the gun barrel is heavier than uh, the other parts because your finger is through the trigger where the center is so there it's like the calm uh, calming of the storm or the calm of the storm is in the center even though it's moving the most it's the lightest for me because the heaviest part is here and here but the barrel is heavier so it drives it around but you see how my arm isn't going I, I, I can't even do this if I tried I'm trying to make it just go even you can't because of the way the gun is, but it's actually going whoosh, 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 whoosh. So it's going voom, 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 and not going like this. It may look like it, but the fact is, is that my hand is moving back and forth like this uh, because it's about understanding how the, uh, the gun actually spins or the rope spins or whatever happens that you want to learn how to do. So back to the basic part. To spin the gun, I want you to practice this for a while, is to drop the gun here, okay, drop it here, and then bring it back up, drop it here, and bring it back up, and then what's going to happen is you're going to do it one time and one revolution, one revolution, hand down, let the momentum and flip it up and catch, catch, and just so you know that when you do spin a gun, people ask us all the time, what do you do with your fingers, Will? Well, what you do with your fingers, I'll show you from this side, is you're actually dropping it and you're doing this thing here. Like almost like you're doing yourself a gun like that. But you, instead of doing this with a gun where you tuck them all the way back, you're actually just tucking the fingers in like this. You got a slight crook of the finger like that because that'll help keep the gun on your finger. But you see, I kind of just flip it up and do that. There's a great, uh, I think Joey Dillon, uh, has a good explanation for the how this all works is that you're actually you see my fingers now they're out of the way but you also can use that to bounce them off bounce them off so if you wanted to just take a gun and just spin it from there which I recommend you do this in the beginning so you get the momentum but if you did spin it in one place you're actually using these fingers here to be able to spring it back up to your finger so if I'm going to keep it in one position it might look like that Boom, and that's bam and up. And I'm using my fingers to push it back up. I'm using a little bit of my momentum, but mainly I'm using my fingers to try to just boom, bam, boom, bam, and be able to get the gun back up. Which brings us to the next part of this whole uh, apparatus, 
spinning, and that is that we learn how to drop it, we learn the momentum will bring it back up, we learn that we can spin it once and catch it. We can spin it once and catch it. Spin it up, spin it up and catch, up and catch, and bend your knee, boom, and shoot the person and they're dead. Uh, then the other part you want to learn is the continuous spin. And the continuous spin only going backwards, we'll learn forwards later, but only going backwards is that you're going to remember that you got your fingers like that and you got to keep them out of the way because I have hit myself on these fingers before and it's painful if you keep hitting them. But you're going to spin by basically getting your momentum and try to continue to do it. Now, I can just sit here and go like this and spin them or forward like that and spin them because I've been doing this a while. But in the beginning, I truly just use the momentum to be able to kind of keep spinning it. And momentum, 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 and keep spinning it. And see how long you can keep it spinning. I do recommend you do the on the knees thing and learn how to spin your guns that way because it's closer to the ground in case it drops or on a mattress or some sort of foam pad below you. So those are the tricks you're gonna to learn today, which is spinning the gun. That's half the battle. And I want you to get that down. Best place to practice and best time while you're sitting there watching TV, when you're watching some of those old westerns that you like to watch, which I do, and uh, you're watching Cisco Kid, a Lone Ranger, you can just basically practice your gun spinning and what you're doing at, while you're watching. And then, you know, you'll get to the point where you'll just be spinning it and keep it going and, and getting comfortable. It's all about getting comfortable with this apparatus because when you get comfortable with the, with the guns, it'll basically... Uh, you'll be able to do this anywhere. You'll be sitting, you'll be talking, you know, whatever. Uh, of course, it might be a little uneasy if you're just sitting there spinning a the gun around your family while you're watching TV, but when you have a chance, you can spin it, you can bring it up, you can bring it up, and you'll be surprised how quickly you get this if you practice. Again, safety, never have it loaded. Make sure that when you're done, you put it away. You also might want to have a cloth. I got a bunch of car cloths, you know, that I bought at the at auto parts places, and I kind of wipe it down, you know, treat it the way it is. Again, it's a weapon, but it's a pretty cool thing uh, if you treat it the right way. And spinning your gun from the basics, drop, let the momentum, you'll let it do that for one trick. I'm sorry, for one moment, let it spin, and you'll feel the weight. And then when you feel the timing where it goes back, back, and forward, you can bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Bring it up and your knees. Then start doing one, boom, 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 and just keep doing that and spin it. I always like to also kind of add in things where I do have my hands up, like if I was going to do a, a thumb, if I was going to do boom like that and do two or three shots, I might have my hand up like this. You know, work on some different things. Watch and get yourself a hero in uh, the world of uh, cowboy stuff that you can watch and say, ooh, I really like that. Mine, of course, is Will Rogers because of my trick roping and being a humorist and so on, but uh, I recommend, and Will really didn't do much with a gun at all. I think he had one, but he didn't like them, you know, per se. But uh, in any case, uh, find a hero, because you want to emulate that hero, and whether it's John Wayne or whoever it happens to be, kind of watching them, because there's a lot of great gun tricks, and uh, my good friend Joey, or Johnny Hotshot, who you've seen on the promo here, or Luke, they all have uh, gun tricks that they do that came from movies, and you'll see a lot of these different ones that we all do. But I urge you, as you learn this skill, is to create your own. I spent my time spinning my guns thinking, that one, no one does that one, because I created that one. And the fact is, is that I would rather be spinning my guns and learning how to do this and do tricks that I came up with and, uh, you know, like here's another one, flipping it and balancing it. A lot of people will do the balancing one where they go like this, but I actually flip it and catch it on my hand and no one else does that. So you want to be able to do, be original in what you do. All the basics you're going to learn from me and anybody else in this series are going to be the basic technique. It's about the technique, but like anything you do, once you get the technique, you get comfortable to go, wait a second, if I do this, 
I can do this, do that, and then come over here like that, and boom. And that's your own signature stuff that you want to develop. So I encourage you to be able to learn anything and everything you can with your guns and uh, your ropes and anything else you happen to want to learn in life and make it your own. Practice, practice, practice. Make sure you're safe. Make sure that you have any questions, you get a hold of us, the email or the site. And if you have anything that you need, you let us know and we'll see you next time. Be safe. Bye-bye.